that to be changed to. I will do the unicorn. Oh yeah, diversify. Diversify the background. Hi everyone. Welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever in the world you are. Tibor, we see you. We see you there. Anyone else? Anyone else we know? Hi, it's nice to see everyone or not see everyone. It is nice to see everyone's names. Um, please introduce yourself in the chat really briefly. Um, let us know where in the world you are joining us from today. We will get started in just a couple minutes. Um, we give everyone time to uh, get into the webinar before we start. Tibor coming in from Austria, Vim DC, Alex from Spain. Very nice. India, we're hitting all the corners of the world. <laughs> Barcelona. Rui from Brazil, Manuel from, from Barcelona, Krishna from India. Who we got? Senegal, Ghana, Pakistan. Awesome, it's so nice to see you all. Uh, okay, well, I think everyone is in, so we're gonna get started. Uh, hi everyone, my name is Mariah. I'm an associate product manager here at MIT Boot Camps. Uh, that means I get to do a little bit of everything, including marketing, admissions, operations, um, and everything in between. Many of you may have heard from me via email, or we have a few of our MIT Boot Camps graduates here. So it is nice to uh, speak with you all again. Uh, over the next hour, we are going to be doing our giving a brief presentation on immersive innovation, our new self-paced course. Uh, so with that, I will let, let Vimala introduce herself. Uh, she's our director and hailing from Washington, D.C. this morning. Hi, everyone. Uh, really nice to see all your names in the chat. And hopefully, I think um, towards the end, we'll be promoting you live for those of you who want to come live and ask questions. Um, my name is Vimala Palanaswamy, and I'm the director for MIT Boot Camps, and very happy to introduce this new program to all of you. So let me just start sharing my screen. Um, Immersive Innovation is a program that we've developed in order to essentially take our boot camp um, program, which has a somewhat fixed um, schedule and can be quite rigid for individuals. Um, so we've essentially taken the content that we have in the bootcamp and put it into a self-paced course for individuals. And um, for those of you who are familiar with the boot camps, uh, this will help you understand what the difference is between our in-person or virtual boot camps and this particular course. Um, and for those of you who uh, are not familiar with our boot camps, hopefully you'll get a good overview of what the boot camp, oh, what the immersive innovation course is about. So we will be starting the innovation, the immersive innovation course in a few weeks. Um, I believe it's the week of October 11th. Um, and the course will run, will be open for a total of 15 weeks, um, though you can finish the course more quickly than that. Probably the minimum amount of time is about six weeks. Um, and this will conclude in January. Oops, let's see. Um, okay. So just to go through what we'll be talking about today, I'll give you a little bit of a background on MIT Boot Camps, which is the group at MIT that um, Melly, Mariah, and I all work at. Uh, we'll go through the learning objectives for the course, a little bit of the curriculum design, the recommended schedule, the different components and expectations, and then we'll move into Q&A. So MIT Boot Camps, we are the team that is delivering this course. We were started in 2014 
Um, and we've done uh, boot camps, which are these immersive action learning programs in 13 different countries and online. Um, we've had more than 40 programs altogether. Um, about two thirds of those have been open admissions programs um, where, we, where we do selection and the other, the remainder have been private programs that we do directly with companies or, um, or universities or other groups. We've had about 3000 learners go through our programs in the last seven years. Um, more than a hundred countries represented. Um, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, more than a hundred ventures started um, and our graduates of the boot camp have raised more than $70 million towards our uh, towards their ventures. We then had um, about 10 students who've gone on to get degrees, both undergraduate and graduate degrees at MIT. Um, and we have also had a number of people who are in the Forbes 30 under 30 list. So I think the recent one came out and we had one boot camper, Mark from Egypt, who was in, um, in that list. So immersive innovation focuses on creating value by solving and delivering, solving problems and delivering a superior solution. So this is the same curriculum that we use in our bootcamp programs, um, in innovation leadership, in healthcare innovation. So a real focus on value creation and solving problems. Um, the difference is there's not a team component or a team um, project component. The project component for immersive innovation is individual. So we go through this curriculum um, by focusing on learning, practicing and receiving feedback on specific skills within several in, um, innovation domains. You can see that this is a bit of a complex diagram. Um, we teach in a very linear way, um, but just to emphasize that innovation itself is quite iterative. So while you'll learn different skills um, and frameworks in a linear fashion, we do recommend that you then use these throughout the boot camp in order to refine the idea that you're working on. Um, we, the, the course will take you through um, different uh, workshops and um, deliverables in order to master this combination of skills and domains. And you'll do these by uh, learning from the MOOCs, the various pre-reads and the recorded workshops and lectures, which can be viewable on NovoEd. Um, you'll then practice these through an action learning project which will be guided through um, deliverables per each module of the bootcamp. And you will then receive feedback from peers in the course on your deliverables. So we anticipate that by the end of this course, you'll be able to answer three very important questions uh, related to innovation and entrepreneurship. Are you solving an important problem? So we think of this about, we uh, think about this as discovering value. Do you have a superior solution? So we um, think of this as creating value. And are you able to do this in a financially sustainable way? And we think of this as delivering value. So this is how we've organized the course and how we're thinking about um, what you will be able to do at the end of the course. So, oh, this is interesting. Um, so um, our immersive innovation curriculum is based on um, the innovation and entrepreneurship curriculum taught across MIT. So we have essentially four pillars that the um, immersive innovation content is built on. There is um, user innovation, which is an area of uh, innovation that has been pioneered by Professor Eric von Hippel. Um, there is iTeams, which is a course taught by uh, Dr. Luis Perez Breva, which um, helps teams of students commercialize different technologies. So it's, it's, a, it's basically about how do you take a technology um, and commercialize it. So we draw on some of this curriculum as well. Then um, the Disciplined Entrepreneurship Curriculum by Bill Allett is also very core to the bootcamp curriculum. Um, Bill's curriculum around disciplined entrepreneurship assumes that you have a solution already. Um, in the boot camp, however, we start a bit earlier with what is the problem that you're trying to solve and going through um, 
how do you develop a how do you identify a problem how do you understand the value proposition then how do you deliver or create a solution that delivers on that value proposition and then we go through the steps of how do you create a financially viable business around that and finally we have um, the concept of inversion which is um, taught by professor sanjay sharma who's also the vice president for open learning at mit as well as um, a professor of mechanical engineering where he started the auto id lab which is where the term internet of things was coined and then all of this together um, brings the immersive innovation curriculum so really through this course um, you will get pieces of um, like different frameworks and perspective and concepts um, around uh, innovation and entrepreneurship as it's taught at MIT in this one course. So the course is scheduled to be about 15 weeks um, and you can likely finish it in as short as six weeks. We, however, have a recommended schedule to take about 12 weeks for you to really practice the curriculum, go through it, reflect, um, and engage again. And so um, we have a recommended schedule of about 12 weeks, which gives um, two week long breaks during the course for you to kind of pause and reflect. Um, we also know this course is coming at a time when uh, there are a lot of holidays. In the US, for example, we have Thanksgiving coming up at the end of um, November. Um, and then globally, there are the Christmas and New Year's holidays where um, many, uh, much of the world takes, takes a break. So uh, we wanted to be able to recognize that you might want to take additional breaks um, throughout the course. But um, as I said, you, can, uh, you will be completing this course at your own pace. So it could be as quickly as six weeks, um, and the course is open for 15 weeks, so you have uh, that amount of time to, to finish it. There, as you can see here, there are six different modules um, throughout, the, throughout the course, and we recommend spending um, in anywhere from one to two weeks per module. Um, you can see for most modules, we, we actually recommend taking two weeks to go through the curriculum and to do the um, project work. So um, there are several different components of the immersive innovation course. And I just wanted to walk through what some of those are and what the expected time commitment is per module. Um, this might vary for different people, but this is typically what people have reported in the past. Um, so there is prep work for you to do. And these are MITx MOOC modules on um, the edgex platform, as well as some pre-reads. And typically per module, there's one to two hours of work to be done here. Um, and so these are all on EdgeX, which is a learning management platform um, associated with MIT. And um, we will have access to all four of the MITx MOOCs on innovation and entrepreneurship. Um, however, as part of the course, we'll ask you to um, view specific modules, not, not all four, um, not all modules for all four of the courses. We recommend that you complete all of this pre-work before the module starts. Um, this will give you a good foundation for the language that's being used in recorded sessions um, and in the deliverables as well. And the work that you do here, um, it complements the lectures and workshops that you'll view um, as recordings and the deliverables as well. And the deliverables are the exercises that you'll do throughout the course. We then have recordings of the innovation workshops and lectures. And um, the workshops are led by uh, myself, um, Erdin Beshamov, who's the founder of MIT Boot Camps, and several other of our MIT Boot Camps uh, instructors and coaches. We also have lectures from um, different MIT faculty and practitioners, some of whom I mentioned earlier in, in some of that foundational work around the curriculum. And um, the time commitment we see here is usually three to eight hours per module. Um, and again, some of these modules we recommend taking um, two weeks or more to complete. 
So the um, workshop instructors will be myself, um, Erdine Beshamov, who is the founder of MIT Boot Camps and a senior director at Open Learning. Um, we then have Ingrid Toppelberg, who is our head coach and focuses on effective collaboration. Um, and finally, we have Robin Bose, who is a um, serial entrepreneur and um, a, an MIT Boot Camps coach and facilitator as well. The faculty that you'll hear from are um, Dr. Luis Perez Breva, who focuses on um, the, the curriculum around um, that he's developed for iTeams and has brought to the boot camps. Um, we have Marina Hatsopoulos, who is a serial entrepreneur. She's an MIT graduate and a technology entrepreneur. She actually brought one of the first 3D company, 3D printing companies um, to market back in the 90s. Um, she's now a investor and advisor to many startups um, in various different industries. She's a writer um, and an active participant in the MIT uh, innovation and entrepreneurship ecosystem, both in Boston as well as globally, um, particularly in Greece, where her family hails from. We then have Bill Allette, who is uh, the managing director of the Martin Trust Center for Entrepreneurship, which um, is, a, is the center at MIT that brings together all entrepreneurship education. Um, and they have a number of different programs to support entrepreneurs across the Institute. Um, Bill is also the author of Disciplined Entrepreneurship. Um, you will see him quite a bit in um, the MITx MOOC modules that we ask you to do as pre-work. And finally, we have Professor Sanjay Sharma, who, um, as I mentioned earlier, is a professor of mechanical engineering. Um, he's also the vice president of open learning, though on sabbatical currently, um, and does a lot of work in um, technology, innovation, and policy. So um, then we have office hours. So these are live Q&A sessions with coaches. Um, and we anticipate having two of these per week. Um, except for the times when MIT is on holiday. Um, and we'll put these each session at different times. We know all of you are coming from across the globe. Um, so hopefully one of the sessions will work for you uh, from a timing perspective. Um, and so we plan to have two of these per week. Um, and so depending on the module, there might be two to four hours of um, uh, office hours available to you during the boot camp. And these are all optional. These, uh, the office hours are optional sessions. And um, the office hours are being led by MIT boot camps coaches. So these are MIT trained entrepreneurs and innovators, and we'll have the two one hour sessions per week. Um, and their role is to really help you understand the innovation and entrepreneurship concepts that you're learning to get some further clarification on um, some of these frameworks and how to actually put them into practice. We then have the deliverables, which are exercises um, for you to complete each module. And these help you put into practice what you're learning during the course um, and apply it to the project that you're working on. So your own innovation, um, uh, innovation idea, whether it's a business, um, some other type of startup, a, um, some, whatever problem it is that you would like to tackle, find a solution for and figure out. Um, a financially sustainable way to deliver that solution. Um, so this, we anticipate, depending on the module, you can see it's, it's quite varied, can take um, anywhere from three to 10 hours of your time. Um, we typically see the earlier modules, module one, um, takes, takes more time as you're getting um, familiar with the course itself. We ask you to do interviews with people. So identifying and interviewing people can sometimes take, um, take a bit of time. Um, and then later on, as you're putting in the boot camp in the course, as you're pulling together your um, what your business model is, your financial model, and creating your pitch, sometimes that will take, uh, or your final presentation, sometimes that will take additional time as well. So um, you can see here, we recommend, um, you know, what I'm putting here on the right are the time commitments per module. Um, and we recommend that you spend about one to three weeks per module, depending on the amount of content in that specific module. Um, so 
the deliverables, their project-based learning, um, their exercises to apply what you learn in the course in real life, their per module, and these will be peer reviewed. Um, so then finally, the peer review. Um, so we expect all of you in order to receive a certificate to complete the deliverables and all of the all of those components, as well as review the deliverables for two of your classmates per module. Um, and we anticipate that this will take between one and two hours to provide that um, review and feedback to your peers. Um, and so essentially, this is, um, as I said, just reviewing um, the deliverables for two of your classmates per module. So I just wanted to conclude here before we go into the Q&A um, with this graphic. It's available on our website as well about what some of the differences are between the Innovation Leadership Bootcamp and the Immersive Innovation Course. Um, essentially, the content that you'll be receiving are the same, um, but then um, with the bootcamp, it's a live um, action learning program with teams and coaching. Um, and the immersive innovation course is for those of you who don't really have the um, flexibility or time to commit to a team and to a um, fixed course and schedule in the same way that we ask of the boot camps. Um, so both are completely virtual. Um, the immersive innovation course is self-paced. It's individual rather than team-based. Um, so does provide a lot more flexibility for those of you who um, cannot commit to uh, the, the boot camp schedule and time commitments of the team. Um, you will receive feedback in both of these courses. Um, in the boot camp, it's coach plus peer, peer, uh, peer feedback, while in the immersive innovation course, it's um, purely feedback from your peers. Um, we do have a couple networking sessions for the immersive innovation course. So this is to help those of you who are in the course connect live if you would like to. These are optional as well. Um, the, the key difference probably is the access to the um, faculty uh, lectures and innovation workshops. For the immersive innovation course, you will have access to the recordings rather than the live sessions. Um, so there won't be the ability to interact with the faculty presenters. That live interaction um, with uh, instructors or coaches in the course will come through the office hours that we'll have regularly. Um, the other thing is um, you do not need to apply for the immersive innovation course in the same way that you need to go through the application process for the boot camp, um, And finally, the um, graduates of the immersive innovation course um, do not become boot camp graduates because they you've not completed um, one of our uh, team based action learning boot camps. Um, for those of you who do go to a boot camp, however, um, and successfully complete it and receive a certificate, you would have access to the, um, to the graduate community after that. So that concludes um, my formal presentation. Um, Mariah, Melly, I don't know if there have been questions that have come up um, that you'd like me to answer or if there are you know, questions coming in through the Q&A. Thanks, Ben. Um, I think people are a little bit shy, so we haven't seen too many come in yet. Um, I was wondering if you could talk a little bit more about office hours and what office hours with the coach looks like per week. Uh, you know, I think you mentioned a little bit about who those entrepreneurs and are that they'll be speaking with, but if you could just give uh, a little bit more context in terms of what they can ask them and how those sessions might be structured. Great. Um, so the uh, office hours will be live sessions with MIT bootcamp coaches, and all of our coaches are experienced entrepreneurs and innovators. Um, they've all been through the innovation process before um, starting their own companies um, or they're corporate entrepreneurs who've brought a new solution to market um, in their, within their company. And uh, almost all are working full time currently as entrepreneurs, but they continue to um, coach and offer their expertise in um, boot camp classes. Um, so the office hours are 
um, they're open sessions, which um, as you go through the content, as you work on your project, um, as you do your deliverables, some questions will arise on how to how do I really, you know, um, you might want some more understanding around a particular concept, or you might have encountered a similar framework, and you might have some questions on how this can be applied versus what you learned in the um, in the course, or um, you know what what the differences are. Um, and so the coaches are there to help clarify. Um, they can also share their perspective. In certain cases, it's helpful to know what others have done in the past. Um, so the coaches can often draw on their own experience as they're going through and applying uh, their um, as you're going through and applying these same concepts and frameworks. They can they can use their experience to help you better understand how to um, take things forward with your individual projects. Awesome, thanks, Tim. Um, we did have a question that I'll address live as well. Um, our only requirement for this course is you must be 18 years old on the first day of the program. Um, so I think someone here, uh, we're so excited that you're looking at programs offered by us and we want you, we want you to be part of our community, uh, but you do have to be 18 on the first day of the program. Um, so again, if you have any questions about that, please let us know, or if you have any, you know, follow up on additional resources that can prepare you for courses in the future, um, shoot us an email at bootcamps at mit.edu and we'll be able to sort you out. That was an, an anonymous attendee. So I don't know who asked it, but if, um, you know, again, feel free to reach out to us. Um, I know there's a few of you out there who have questions. We couldn't have answered it all for you. Um, Vim, I know this is something our team has talked a lot about is kind of these different tracks. Obviously, we are, are not tracks, uh, timelines or, or recommended schedules. Um, could you maybe talk about that a little bit more? I think we focused kind of on, on one, but could mm -hmm. you, you know, t talk a little bit about what some of the benefits are about also extending that to, you know, to, to 15 weeks or how we've kind of thought about the, the flexibility in terms um, of this course? Yeah, so we've really brought this course um, to all of you. The reason that we're doing this is because we've been hearing from um, people who've applied to the boot camps or who would like to apply to the boot camp programs. And basically they've said that um, the, the structure of the boot camp doesn't really work for them. Um, you know, they don't know what their weekly they can't plan in advance around their professional and um, personal commitments over that time period. Um, 10 weeks, we, you know, in our uh, boot camp programs, we do have somewhat rigid um, schedules. There's, um, you know, deliverables are released and due by a certain time. Um, there, there's a teamwork component. And so for people with less flexible schedules, um, meeting with teams can be, um, you know, it, it, that might not happen or it might be a source of um, frustration for, for them and the team. Um, they're also in our, in our boot camps, um, we, we don't allow individuals in to work on their own projects. And we do have a number of people who are interested in um, just using the, the, the boot camp methodology to work on their own um, projects on their individual projects. And so that's the genesis of the immersive innovation course. Um, and we have paced it such that, you know, if you want to go through, we, we know you all have different timelines and availability. Some of you might be doing this full time. Others of you might have, you know, just 10 weeks to devote, uh, devote to this. So that's why we want to provide the, the flexibility in terms of the overall, um, how long the course is open. Um, but uh, you know, the, the content, you could go through it, you could do the project deliverables, um, say spending 20 to 30 hours per week for six weeks, that, that could be possible. Um, however, you know, the recommended pacing we have is, um, you know, a lot of innovation is about understanding the problem and understanding the customers, and that can take time. Um, and so we want to put that flexibility of, okay, 
you know, I would like another week to do some more of my customer discovery, or um, I would like to take a bit of a break to step back and reflect on what I've done so far so that I know how to move forward. And then also, you know, this is a longer course. We know life happens. So something unexpected might come up um, and you might need to step away from a week. And so we want to provide you that level of flexibility um, to, to be able to do that and to manage this with everything else that you have going on in your professional and personal lives. Um, but we do also want to keep you on somewhat of a schedule so that um, to, to help you manage your time and get through the course on your own. Thanks, Jim. Um, thanks, Bim. Uh, yeah, we, we actually got um, a question um, in the Q&A that um, I think could be answered live. Um, Ed asked, um, are there live pitch sessions scheduled? Um, there are not live pitch ske uh, sessions scheduled in the immersive innovation course. Um, so you will submit a um, recorded presentation, which is essentially your final project. Um, but uh, in the online virtual boot camps, we do have um, elevator pitch and mock presentation sessions with, with coaches. Um, and then for the top teams, there is the opportunity to pitch live. Um, however, that is not a component of the immersive innovation course. Thanks, Ben. Thanks, Molly. And thanks, Ed. And uh, we had another question that um, just for everyone to, to know, um, this person asked if we'll be able to have an overview of this presentation available um, to share with their company who might support them. So um, don't fret, we will have a, this recording available as, long, as well as the presentation um, sent to you guys um, after this session. So you'll get all the information you could ever want. And also just adding, adding on to that, Melly, uh, if there is specific uh, things your company needs, uh, please shoot us an email sooner rather than later. Uh, again, at bootcamps.mit.edu. We can't customize a presentation for your company specifically, but we are happy to provide as much information as possible um, that we can. So, and we know that uh, sometimes getting sponsorship from your company or dealing with kind of whatever educational benefits they do offer takes time. Uh, and this course does start in just under two weeks. So whoever asked that, I think they were also anonymous. Uh, please shoot us an email sooner rather than later. And we'll be happy to uh, help you through that as quickly as possible. Thanks, Molly. Thanks, Mariah. And what we've seen also is the syllabus can sometimes help that goes through uh, more deeply with the course content. Um, so, you know, a combination of perhaps uh, the slides from today, the video from today, and um, the course syllabus can often help with um, your uh, HR department or people, operations people, um, understanding what this course is about and helping decide whether um, they, can, they can cover it for you. Awesome, thanks, Ben. Uh, we have a couple more questions in the chat. So another one from Ed. Uh, does this program include lectures on capital fundraising? Uh, we do not have any um, any lectures focused on that. And I think something Vim we perhaps did not mention that we normally do, uh, just talking about how this course is not an incubator or accelerator. Mm -hmm. uh, this is an educational experience. So, uh, you know, fundraising, I don't think is our, our main focus here. We want this to be a space for you to try something new, fail, uh, get feedback on it, and continue uh, moving forward. Yeah, we will have a session on effective communication, um, which will go through um, all aspects of communication as an entrepreneur. Um, the key that we focus on there actually is on writing effective emails um, rather than um, you know, presenting uh, to investors just because this is also a foundational innovation and entrepreneurship course. Um, so the, um, the need for capital raising is usually not that intense for people who are, um, who are starting something uh, very fresh. Um, there are other 
uh, I think, resources at and through MIT um, around fundraising and investment, but that's that's not included in this course. Some of the foundations for how you get there will be, um, but that's not an actual practice in this um, in this course. Thanks, Sam. Um, Samuel um, is asking about financial aid for this program. Uh, I, I can take that one. At this time, we're not able to offer scholarships for this program in particular. Um, we, if you again, shoot us an email at bootcamps.mit.edu, uh, we will be able to provide you with um, some of our resources um, like crowdfunding and some other resources that we've seen uh, be effective for our community. This program, uh, it is starting in you know a week and a half. We do plan on running this uh, in the future as well. So hopefully, you know, if we can give you the syllabus and other items that help you kind of kick off your fundraising for this program, um, you know, we're, we're happy happy to do so. Um, but again, if you shoot us an email, Samuel, uh, we will be able to provide you with additional resources. Uh, and talk through some other options for you. Thanks, Mariah. Uh, we have a question from Raj asking, does this program have uh, a set interview sessions and eligibility process? And so um, we want to emphasize that immersive innovation has no selection. And um, you can just, if you're interested in the course and it fits with what you're looking for, you can just enroll on the bootcamps website. And uh, we actually, Mariah created a video on how to enroll um, to walk you step-by-step step through the process. It's actually on our YouTube channel right now. Um, and it's really helpful. So I can definitely link that in the chat. Thanks, Melly. Thanks, Molly. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Manel asks, uh, if I'm a doctor, do you think I should wait for healthcare innovation, uh, which is not available now, uh, or is this course also interesting for professionals in this topic area? Um, hi, Manel, thanks for that question. Um, so we do have the healthcare innovation boot camp, which is the um, you know live virtual action learning team based program. We actually have one running right now. Um, that's that's online. Uh, we anticipate next year we will have you know depending on travel, et cetera, regarding coronavirus, general you know global safety, we might have an in person program. On healthcare innovation with Harvard Medical School. Um, if not, we will do another uh, 10 week online boot camp. So I would recommend um, that you, you look at the syllabus uh, for both programs. I think they're available online. Um, the, the advantage of the immersive innovation program is that it's quite flexible. Um, and so it can work around your schedule. You can use um, any you know, the, the same uh, frameworks, et cetera, can be used for a healthcare problem. So if you, um, if you find you need that flexibility or you wanna take the course now, I would re recommend the Immersive um, Innovation Program. If, however, um, you are interested in meeting other healthcare professionals, um, if you want to better understand kind of what, what are some of the things that make the healthcare industry unique as an entrepreneur um, and some of the foundational um, uh, concepts that you would learn as an entrepreneur um, in your first couple of years as a healthcare entrepreneur. But if you want that kind of accelerated information to give you a jump start, um, then I would recommend waiting for one of the healthcare innovation boot camps, which would be um, either live in person for one week um, next fall or um, you know, depending on the coronavirus situation or um, virtual online over the course of 10 weeks. Thanks, Tim. Uh, and I'm just piggybacking off of that a little bit. Uh, we want to be able to provide you all of the resources to make the best decision for you. Uh, so as much as we would love to be able to tell you which program is right for you, 
it is, you know, we want to make sure it, it is ultimately up to you for, to do your due diligence. And what we want to be is resources. We don't want to push you to a program that isn't right for you. So uh, again, attending webinars, asking questions, emailing us, looking on our YouTube channel, I think are all really great ways to understand uh, which program is best for you. Uh, for each of our, our, our programs, we do have a variety of, you know, uh, uh, visual materials on our Instagram where we talk a little bit about what they're doing. Uh, we also have information on our LinkedIn, uh, which I think all Melly has all posted in the chat. She was already ahead of me. Um, and, you know, our YouTube channel as well, where you can learn more about who is attending this program and again, which program is best for you. Thank you, Mariah. And our next question is um, from anonymous attendee. Uh, what are the main advantages of taking the immersive innovation program over just completing the four prerequisite MOOCs? Is there a difference in material covered? Um, so that's a great question. Um, as, as you can see from, from what I presented, some of the immersive innovation course um, actually has some of the MOOC modules as prerequisites or some of the pre-work. Um, so what the immersive innovation course does is it brings together um, additional innovation content that's been um, curriculum that's been developed at MIT that was not included in the MOOCs. So um, we have four MOOCs altogether. One is focused on user innovation with Eric Von Hippel. The other three are on disciplined entrepreneurship with Bill Allett. Um, so these... Um, what the immersive innovation curriculum does is it brings in um, curriculum from Luis Perez Breva. It brings in curriculum from um, Sanjay Sharma that really wasn't around or in practice or available um, at the time that those MOOCs were produced. Um, it also brings together the curriculum, um, as, I, as I briefly discussed earlier, um, starting with a problem. So that's, that's the foundation of the immersive innovation um, course, uh, whereas with disciplined entrepreneurship, for example, um, so entrepreneurship 101, 102, and 103, it presumes that you already have a solution in place. Um, so the immersive innovation um, curriculum pulls on some of the work from Eric Von Hippel, as well as Luis Perez Breva, and um, our experience as well about how to ideate and find a problem to work on and then develop a solution before um, launching into building everything else around, um, around the solution to build a sustainable venture. There's also um, the, uh, I would say the other benefit is um, the deliverables do walk you through um, a project. So building your own sustainable venture, starting with that ideation process um, going into developing a value proposition and um, building out uh, the, uh, the specification for a solution. Um, so the deliverables do keep you uh, kind of going through that process. Um, we also do have the office hour sessions with, um, with our coaches to get uh, a better understanding of how to apply these frameworks um, and then the, the peer review aspect as well. Awesome. Thanks, Ben. Thanks, Ben. Thank you. Melly, do you, I, can, I can take it. Alex, <laughs> hi. Thank you for asking the question. Uh, so Alex is asking, do we need to have a project in mind to get into the boot camp or, uh, the, or the immersive innovation course? So maybe you can talk about for both the boot camp and for immersive innovation, uh, mm -hmm. what coming to the bootcamp looks like, or bootcamp or course looks like, and is an idea required? Great. Um, so Alex, thanks for that question. Um, so for both the bootcamp and the immersive innovation course, you do not have to have an existing idea or problem or project in mind. Um, for both, part of the curriculum is around ideation and creativity and generating ideas and then figuring out how to select ideas based on different criteria for you to move forward um, with, the, with a particular project. So uh, in both courses, 
um, you will you will go through a process to identify and select um, an idea to work on. With um, the immersive innovation course, um, you will be working by yourself. Um, so you will you know you will be doing this on your own. Maybe perhaps you will bring in other people if you want to. But as the course is designed, it's designed to, um, for for you to do it individually. Um, and you actually have, I would say, more flexibility in the immersive innovation course to actually work on your own idea. Whereas in the boot camps, um, it's a team-based project, and you and your team, you know, you will do some individual ideation, and then you'll come together with your team to do um, some group ideation. And we actually recommend um, during the boot camp that uh, the team does not work on it. Um, something that an individual in the team is already working on as a business um, because that ends up making it look like almost like a consulting project for that one particular member. Um, and it, it kind of weights the team or biases the team in a particular, particular um, direction that is not always the best for a learning program, which um, as Mariah said, we very much see both of these as educational programs um, foundational, you know, learning about entrepreneurship and innovation, um, rather than um, a focus on, like, rather than um, an incubator or an accelerator, and uh, you know, taking something to to get investment at the end of the course. You know, we hope that that happens in the future um, through the foundational skills and practice that you'll get through both of these courses. Um, the, the one thing, um, so the immersive innovation course, I think, as we've said, has no application and admissions process. Um, anybody can sign up for it. And um, the boot camps are in person and our virtual ones all do have a selection process. Um, part of the reason that we do this is because it is team based and we want to ensure that, um, excuse me. Um, Sorry, I'm sneezing today. Um, we want to ensure that um, all of the teammates have gone through the same selection process and have a uh, similar commitment to the course. Awesome, thank you so much, Vim. Um, we actually have uh, more questions um, that I we, we did answer a little bit, but maybe we can reiterate since we do get these questions a lot. Um, one is if there's anything for 16 year olds and um, the other, um, if there's any scholarship for this program. And for both of those, thank you anonymous attendees for your questions. Um, I, for both of these, I would encourage you to shoot us an email at bootcamps at mit.edu. Um, I think Melly has put that in the chat earlier um, by uh, emailing us, we'll be able to fill you in more on, on details for both. In short, you must be uh, 18 on the first day of the program, and we don't offer any, uh, any programs with us that you are eligible to take. Uh, you can take the MOOCs on edX. Uh, I don't believe there is an age requirement, so you're free to develop the foundation uh, and uh, you know, are, are, uh, allow yourself to be speaking a common language with the rest of us by the time you do, uh, you are eligible to attend the boot camp. Uh, and then for scholarships, we are currently not, not offering scholarships to the boot camp. Uh, again, shoot us an email and we'll be able to provide you with the resources that we do have and some strategies that have worked for previous uh, members of our community. Great, thank you both. Thank you. Um, Okay, I think any other questions coming in? I don't see any in the chat. Um, I think those are the main ones that have been answered. Um, Vim, is there anything else you want to elaborate on or any, anything that has kind of come up during our, during some of these questions that you'd like to elaborate on? Yeah, I think um, the big takeaway that I, I guess I'd like uh, everyone to know is that the, the curriculum is essentially the same. The content is the same between our innovation leadership bootcamp and the immersive um, innovation course. 
Um, but the key differences are that the immersive innovation course is really designed um, for individuals who don't have the flexibility or who, who need more flexibility um, than the boot camp currently allows for. Um, and uh, the other missing component um, or difference between the boot camp and the immersive innovation course is um, as a, as a self-paced program for individuals, um, we don't proactively teach about effective collaboration. So there is no team-based coaching. Um, and that's just not an experience that has been built into the immersive innovation course. So we do see tremendous value in um, being able to, you know, the, the team-based action learning component um, of the boot camps. Um, it's an opportunity to collaborate with uh, global innovators and change makers, um, but it is, uh, it can be challenging because you are coordinating your schedule with uh, four to five other busy professionals. So um, those I would say are the key differences between the two courses. And um, if you need more information, you know, we have uh, this, we have webinars for the boot camp. Um, we have the syllabus for the boot camps as well. Um, and if you have any further questions as you decide what is the right program for you, um, please do reach out because as Mariah said earlier, um, we don't want to make the decision for you as to which course is right for you. Um, we wanna be able to provide you the information so that you can make the best decision for yourself. Awesome. Thanks, Lem. I think that uh, you know really helps clarify for everyone here what what those differences are. Um, and as you said, please feel free to reach out to us if there are any other uh, you know you have any other questions about the program. Um, and on that note, we're wrapping up a little bit early. So um, thank you, everyone here who joined us. Um, Salvador, thank you for attending. Hopefully we answered all of your questions. Um, and yeah, I, I think we're super excited about this program. We can't wait to launch it in just about a week and a half. If you have any other questions for us, uh, please again, shoot us an email. Um, we, we want to hear your feedback, um, the good, bad, the ugly, we we're here for it. So uh, again, thank you so much for spending the last hour with us and uh, Hopefully we'll get to meet very many of you soon. Thank you all. Thank you, Mariah and Melly. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye.